So I was in the middle of recording a, a video, right, for Wednesday, and uh, these, the, um, the handyman of uh, where I live, BT, came in and uh, they, they took my blinds. They just, they just stole them, uh, and they replaced them, naturally. So we have new blinds in the place. It's kind of nice because these are completely, like, opaque. I mean, like, no lights getting through that. So this is great for the bedrooms and stuff, and it'll help me for recording and what uh, when I need good light control, but yeah, there we go. Um, this is what the old uh, blinds look like in here, and these blinds were in all the rooms. Right, so we've got those, those were the old ones. They kind of sat over them. You can see like the line where, focus. Focus. There you go. So that's where they used to sit, was that dark line across. And now I've got these ones, which are like within the windowsill. And then over here, right, for the main living area, we have these blinds, which are pretty much see-through, but they do block a little bit of light, which is cool for the living space. And those two are the same and then the same goes for the other bedroom over there is the same as the blinds over here. So, that's cool. Anyway, here's the rest of the vlog. Hello everybody and welcome to Musings with Martin Court. I am of course Martin Court and today is January 11th. It's the first Saturday after I started classes. Most people started classes this Monday or they start next Monday if you're in college or university like I am, and I uh, hope you guys are all doing pretty well on your first couple of days of classes. I know the first week's pretty easy, mostly talk about the syllabus and just kind of beginner stuff, but uh, it'll get harder, so stay on top of it and you'll do fine. I, um, I've been pretty stressed this week, I'll be honest. I was on the wait list for one of my courses, Audio Recording 1, until yesterday when I finally got into the class, and um, it was just, it was awful. I was just like, like, kept emailing the professor going like, am I in the class yet? And like really kind of stressed out because um, if I didn't get in that class, I would have had to take this online business course, which isn't what I wanted to do. And I would have not enjoyed that. So I'm very happy that I finally did manage to get into the class. Um, there's a, a lab every Monday that I get like actual hands-on experience in the recording studio. We get this awesome cool board to work with. I'm super stoked for that class. I think it's gonna be the best. It's the first in a long series. There, it's like four or five classes that I need to take in this series in order to get this minor. So this is audio recording one, then there's audio you know, recording two, and all that kind of newfangled flim flam, jimmy jam kind of stuff. And um, I'm hoping to take this knowledge, right, and use it to make my YouTubes better. Or get a job, one of the two. So I've got that going on. I'm taking intro to mass media which is all about like radio and internet and movies and television and all the stuff we use every day and just kind of like the history of them and the evolution and all that kind of cool stuff so that's exciting I'm doing a project right now in that class where I have to interview somebody over the age of um, 50 who has um, experience in the evolution of the uh, mediums of media and I just did that today and I just need to type that up and um, organize it and then send that in for next Friday so I'm on top of that as well. I'm taking argument, or no, it's research and argumentation, a debate class essentially, where it teaches you the art of arguing and how to do, you know, debates and how we prove points and stuff like that. So that's really cool. I'm hoping I can use like the, the journalism course and the research and argumentation course in later life. It'll teach me tools where I can interview better and ask smarter questions and be more concise with my time and stuff like that and how to do counterpoints and stuff like that and just daily conversations so that's what I'm hoping for with these classes that this will all give me information for other usage including YouTube and my day-to-day -day life and the classes themselves and any potential like interviews I can do later on down the road with, like game devs and stuff like that I want to ask smart questions and good questions and be consistent with my information and then I'm taking folk music experience, which is like the best class in the world because I, it's, it's two days a week, right? And every Tuesday, we just get together with like our guitars 
and our ukuleles and our mandolins and all sorts of cool instruments and we just sing songs like for an hour and that's the whole class for just Tuesdays and then Thursdays we get together and discuss the textbook which for this quarter is Woodstock and the book is an oral history of Woodstock and it's just all about Woodstock the music the performers what happened how it all came together why it was filmed you know we'll watch the movie as well it's super hippie it's super chill I love it and um one of the things we're working on in that class is we have to present a song so I'm I'm up next week. I'm presenting my song. I'm presenting Diamonds and Rust, Joan Baez. Um, but I can't do it, Kate. Like, if you know anything about that song itself, you know that um, it's a gorgeous song. And it is done on capo one. And I can't do that because everybody needs to be able to play it. So I just removed the capo and just slid everything down. Um, it sounds fine. I mean, it doesn't have the same kind of like almost mystical quality behind it, but it still sounds fine. It's a relatively easy song. And um, at the end of the quarter, we do like a little show where we play it all. And um, if all goes well, I'll see if I can get that on film. Or um, because I know the song now, I might just film it on my own and put it up on YouTube because it's a good song and you guys should hear it. So something like that. But that's one of the things I'm working on. And that project is we had to like write a paper on it and stuff like the song and the song chosen. I have to present it to the class, so I have to sing and perform the song in front of 25 people, which is oh so exciting, and I'm sure it's going to be the best. Um, you know, I'm trying to sing it. I'm trying to find the perfect range where I don't sound like shit, but I'm not singing like, all oh, be damned. You know, I'm not down in that super low range where I like to hang out because that's my vocal range. What else is going on? Um, the, the second or the third episode of Minecraft didn't break and die. Which is oh so exciting! It actually works. People watched it. Yay! So that's exciting. Um, every t Monday and Tuesday, I'm thinking of adding more episodes simply because I want to. I don't know. It's all up in the air. But that's a thing that's going on. Um, yesterday, I released the final part of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, which was received pretty dang well as of this moment. It's you know still in its early stages, but I'm hoping that as the days go on, more people will find it and watch it and find it enjoyable. And that's like the last Harry Potter game, really. I just I've done them. Um, it was the it's the last good movie tie-in game that I needed to complete. Right? It was Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So I think what we're doing now is we'll move on to Lego Harry Potter years five through seven. Uh, probably um, movie nights. I might do it as a separate series. If you guys want it as a series, let me know, and I'll release those on Tuesdays, and we can do that. Um, otherwise, I'll do movie nights, and we'll just plow ahead, as we always do. Got my first radio show tomorrow from 4 to 6. Link in the description, as always, to hear me live. I've got a really good set list. Um, you're actually sitting on top of right now. The camera's positioned on top of the CDs that I'm using for tomorrow's show. Um, let's see what else is going on. They reset Hearthstone again, which really sucks, because I had a good rank. I was, um, well, actually, not really. I was ranked 20. And um, I could never get beyond that consistently. I kept losing and losing and losing and losing and just staying at rank 20. So they reset it, so I was back at 25, and now I'm back at 20, where I'm staying because I'm bad at Hearthstone. And uh, it's that's fine. I mean, I'm, I like it. I play it anyway. I'm still hoping that one day I'll get to rank 19, you know, and not suck as much as I usually do. One last thing to talk about this week before I go and play Hearthstone and do all sorts of fun, fascinating things because I'm a fun, fascinating individual is the Nintendo DS friend code. Somebody earlier this week asked about it and asked if I could share mine. And I was like, eh, fuck it, why not? So there it is. Um, I'll post it again in the description of the video, but that's it. That's my Nintendo 3DS friend code. The way I understand it is um, I need, like, you guys can add me and stuff, but I think I need yours is what I don't know how it works so there's my friend code if somebody wants to like explain it to me how to do it I don't I don't know I've, I've barely used my 3ds besides it being a Pokemon machine like that's it that's what I got mine for is to play Pokemon and now I just sit there and wonder trade so I also discovered that the majority of the Pokemon I have from wonder tradings aren't supposed to be available in the game because to my knowledge there isn't a way to get Pokemon from like black and white 2 onto this game like you can't do that so I don't know how I'm getting these Pokemon I'm serious I have no idea how I got these Pokemon I've got like Cyndaquil and like Toad and Mudkip but I got tons of starters I've got a mess spirit I don't I don't know I just have it I don't know how I got them so 
that's a thing. <laughs> Apparently they're hacked Pokemon. I don't know even how you would get around to doing that, but if you're wonder trading hacked Pokemon, thank you. It's helping me complete my Pokédex. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Honestly, I can't think of anything else that I really need to discuss with you guys. Uh, yes, so I will wrap it up there for today. Oh, wait, hold on, one more thing. I got this. I got this cool little thing. Uh, camera bag. To hold all of my nifty camera stuff together. It's like, it's got batteries in the side pockets. It's got the um, extra memory cards. It can hold the camera itself. The only thing it can't hold is the charger. Um, actually, I'm not sure if it can. I haven't really tried. Possibly. Looks big enough. So it might be able to. And um, I was realizing this as I was packing up all my very expensive camera equipment into a single bag. Like, I just made it easier for someone to just steal all of my stuff. Because if they broke in, right, and they grabbed this one bag, they'd be good. Like, this would have, like, a $200 camera. It would have, like, tons of batteries and cords and stuff like that. So I should I should make sure this doesn't go missing because that would that'd be bad. Anyway. That is it for today, and I will talk to you all next week. Have a good one, guys.